hey guys what's up so this is continuations of the framework uh, video and in this video we will see about how we can generate the automatic uh, html report and uh, whenever they will uh, there is any failure in the text scripts how we can capture the screenshot automatically right so a small piece of code will help you to do all that so before to start uh, you can read about me and uh, you can like my facebook page and subscribe my channel so that you'll have access to all my videos and uh, in fact the github locations where you'll have all the source code available so let me start with the coding part i made the code ready today these two class basically these three class is very very important one is extent reports one is extent test and one is i test result so this dependencies we have added on very first video where i have shown you where we have added the dependencies now we are going to use these dependencies and what i did since extent reports is the class i have wrote in the static block because I want this to be executed only once and I want this resource should be available before any test case execution so I wrote in the static block because as we know that a static block will get executed even before your object will get executed right so that is the reason I wrote in the static block and these two uh, the, this two uh, method we have seen that the calendar uh, uh, like the calendar where we are making the instance of the calendar as well as we are making the object of simple simple date format which we have seen earlier and then since extent reports is the class i am making the object of the class and this will system dot get property will give you the location still your project and then what the, what does mean by this so this is the locations the reports so this is the reports folder i where i want to keep all my reports so uh, what you can do is you can just do right click properties and you can take this location so till report you can take this and then in the report folder what i want is i want every test so they start with test so i'm writing a test here inside the report folder and i'm using formatter dot format so basically this will format my report with this ddmmyy format hour uh, minute seconds and then i want to have the html report so i'm using extension dot html and what does mean by comma false so comma false means i want to retain uh, i don't want to uh, overwrite the previous report i want to retain the previous report so i'm using false if you write true it will not retain the previous execution report or the pre uh, previous class report so once your these things this uh, static block is ready once you have this variable ready then we need to use this variable and we'll see that how we can use right so if you come down be remember you have something called extend tests and extend reports this two is very very important now if you come down you have a method called get result so this get result method i'm using argument called i test result which is an interface of test ng here i'm writing that if result dot get success so this result dot get success is equal to i test result dot success right and so from where this i test result will come so whenever we'll execute any test scripts this i test result will have all the informations of your execution of the test script so it will basically it will store the informations then we will say that if success then the test whatever we have the extent test whatever we have made here the extends test is equal to test so test has a method called dot log method dot log and that log internally has will take two arguments so one is log status dot pass so if it is pass so i will show you test dot log so this log status and a string details like what is the details so log status again it's a enum it's a enumeration right it's a enum class so we can write log status dot pass comma result dot get name which will give you the test which was executed and i'm appending a test is pass if it is a skip right so result dot get status is equal to i test result dot skip if it is a skip then i'm writing that test dot log the log status does a skip and the test name which got a skipped and the skip region is result dot get trouble so get trouble this result method will have a trouble message like it will give you the informations like why test was a skipped if it is a failure i will say test dot log log status dot fail comma result dot get name test is failed and then the region is result dot get trouble was the region so when failure happens even i want to capture the screenshot so i'm calling the method get a screenshot uh, method which we have designed here get a screenshot with the blank so it will capture a screenshot with a blank name and once it will capture the screenshot i will append with the html report so i will write test.log log status.fail and 
this test will have a method called add screen capture right which i can show you here we have a method called add screen capture and which will take a image as an argument now what i did if you look at this method here i am returning the actual image name which is nothing but this image name which we have uh, saved in the screenshot folder and i am returning this so i change the method return type as a string because this actual image file type is a image i am returning that so your method return and the method signature uh, return signature should match so it should be a string now once this method is ready where we should use this method we should always use this method in the after class test change annotations because as we know that whenever any test execution will happen after method will get executed automatically we don't need to forcefully call that that is the reason i'm using uh, annotations after method and here i wrote i test result result because once the test will get executed the after method will have the informations about the test and which will be stored into the i test result right so this result argument through this argument i'm calling the get result so get result based on your test status pass fail skip it will actually write the informations in the html that is the reason i'm using after method and in before method i'm starting the test so as we know that before method will get triggered before every test so we need to every test need to be started so i'm writing that the test the extend test which i have shown on the top so extend test dot start test so which test i like i want to start the extend test which argument we have it here right we have it here extend so extend dot start test right result dot get name so get the name which we are going to start and then log the informations like test dot log log status dot info result dot get name and test is started so this will log the information about test is started and this after method will give you the information about what happened whether passed failed and skipped then we have to also write one after class because as we know that after class will get executed after everything after method before method and at test after everything after class will get uh, executed so once you have all the information i want to dump the information into the html so i will do driver dot quit and extend whatever test was started here end the test with the argument test extend test like whatever informations you got now you end the test and extend dot flush so whatever extent was started flush so when we say flush this will write all the data to the html which basically we'll see very nice report once we'll start with the coding part this we are just making the structure of the framework so we are just writing the code so that you know once the structure is ready we can start with the coding part so that's how reporting uh, we will do and this all my source code will be available to my git location so you guys can take the code from my git locations so thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video hit like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again